actually didn't expect that. I didn't expect this. This says that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is getting the worst reviews for Marvel for the Marvel Cinematic Universe since Eternals. Didn't expect that. I mean, uh, oh, damn. Uh, now, um, I was watching The Real Rejects. Greg Alba got out of the theater and he was like, like, yeah. <laughs> I can tell he, so he was conflicted in his mind. I guess he didn't know exactly what the, I haven't watched any reviews. I will not watch any reviews until I see it myself. Then I will watch reviews after that. Because I don't want anyone else's opinion to slant any of my views. I always, I, I, when I first started reviewing movies, I would watch some reviews before watching the movie. I actually do that now with games sometimes. I watch games, watch game reviews before I play them, but movies are different for me. I used to watch Jeremy Johns all the time before I would go see a movie. But I noticed sometimes watching him and other people would kind of make me look for certain things in other in the movies before I saw it. So I like to go in with a fresh slate. So I, I don't have anything um, changing, po possibly changing how I might see the movie. But that's just <laughs> me because I do reviews. That's the reason why. If I was just a regular movie goer. I wouldn't care, but it's because I do reviews. So, I just saw the thumbnail for Jeremy Johns' review, and he's kind of got to look like, kind of like that. That could go either way. <laughs> that could go either way. So I don't know what he gave it. But it says that here, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania has a 54% Rotten Tomato score. This is the lowest score for MCU movie since Eternals. I don't know what they were thinking with Eternals. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is arguably the most anticipated movie of the year. Like, no, it's not. I don't think it's the most anticipated movie. But maybe it is. I'm trying to think now. What, what else is coming out this year? I don't know. What else is coming out this year? Aquaman 2. No. I I'm, I'm looking forward to the Flash more than I'm looking forward to this. Anyway. Marvel Cinematic Universe. New Big Bad ahead of two Avengers. Okay. Oh, but the sequel is already getting the worst MCU reviews since The Eternals. The movie sees Paul Rudd's Scott Lang jump into the quantum realm with his daughter, Cassie Lang, as they get involved in a Revolution against Kang. But even Major's time traveling villain can't save Quantumania from a slew of negative reviews. I did hear that Major's is the best thing about it. I did hear that. And he's a great actor. I was assuming that he might be, you know. Uh, making it the second MCU movie to be rated rotten on Rotten Tomatoes with 54% critic score as of Wednesday morning. Comparatively, Eternals has 47% critics score on Rotten Tomatoes and an audience score of 77%. Insider's own review calls the movie fun but clunky, pointing out that the script struggles to keep the things flowing in a way that doesn't give the audience whiplash. Insider, however, praised Majors for being an intimidating presence as Kang and giving the movie a genuine sense of gravitas. Meanwhile, the Washington Post says that the charm of the Ant-Man franchise has worn off in the third film. I'll say this. Um, I think that the fans, the audience, usually disagree with the critics. So, hold now. <laughs> you know, um, even though I do movie reviews, I, I see movies more of as, as a fan than a critic, so... Um, yeah. Uh, Anne Hornaday wrote, The endearing sweetness 
of the early Ant-Man movies, which Tapped Rudd's uh, ineffable charm has been big footed into a noisy smash and grab extravaganza that for all its self-conscious bigness feels smaller and less ambitious than its predecessors. It's never over, but it could be better. Rolling Stone's David Fia also took aim at how heavy Quantumania feels and said that The Eternals was funnier in fact, The Eternals was funnier? Oh boy. He said Quantumania is somehow heavy without feeling substantial, almost desperate in its dourness, even scattered with occasional wisecracks it makes the Turtles feel positively breezy by the It was funny, it's like, <laughs> it sounds like all of these artsy fartsy people, <laughs> all these elegant webs, uh, uh, their the reviews are draped in all these elegant webs. And you know what? I, I don't know, but you know one thing here that when you come here, I'm going to tell you the truth about how I feel about a movie, okay? But you never have to be concerned about me shilling or getting paid to say a movie's good. It'll never happen. I'm telling you the truth, fellas. <laughs> I will let you know, but this is very interesting. Tell me what you think about the whole situation, and hit the like button, subscribe, and shout 10 million subscribers. Woo!